this video is going to be about a horse underwater treadmill uh, exercising thoroughbreds and ponies just whatever horse people want to use uh, they run on a hydraulic power treadmill and underwater lifting get the weight off their legs and their feet and their what have you here we're doing starting to do excavating on the unit that takes about 50 some feet to get in here. We laid it out. I didn't do a lot of video and as I would like to have. We, we started digging all this out, uh, marked it out. There's the concrete guy, Danny. Great concrete guy. One of the best I've ever seen. Uh, we had a, this building was an old shop building and we, there's a tremendous amount of uh, dense grade small gravel, compacted gravel in there that they used to, to build, build us up originally. Uh, and it was some awful good gravel. So we decided, let's, the guy wanted to use it on the farm elsewhere on another road and stuff. It's good road gravel. So we, uh, we started digging it out and separating it as we went. So we separated the good gravel. And ultimately, we got to pour all this thing in concrete when it's all said and done on the pad and the decking and the whole nine yards so here we're just uh, getting started on it uh, Juan and I are, I'm doing all the digging Juan's doing he's taking the bobcat and going to clean it out keep it out we, we're inside a building so we had to kind of dig and take it out of our way and they're taking it actually as we dig it out they're taking it and putting it on the, other part of the farm. And as you can see, I'm on the other end of this building. And, uh, this end of the building was gravel. As you can see, the other end of it was where the old shop was. It was concrete, and we had to we had to saw that part of it out to, to get this unit to fit inside here. Uh, over on that wall, you could tell it was a big pitch. Well, that was just the original fill line when they filled this thing up. But well, we're getting in here, beginning to start getting it down, some, some grading, and then. It, working herself in. I dug what I could dig with the excavator and let one dig it out and get close to the, get closer to the fill line for the start putting some concrete forms. And as the case is many times when we go to digging behind somebody else in a building that it, they've done other stuff this used to be there was a fence post uh, <laughs> right in the middle of this thing Con the concrete left of the fence post so I had to get it out of the way because we're going to wind up being on the way anyway for when we pour the pour the deck pour the decking Well, as we're working our way down to the other end of this thing and got it down to dirt uh, up to this point, we left ourselves enough where we, where we could get in and out of there with the bobcat to kind of clean it up. And now I'm going to get some more gravel uh, before we start working on the other end of it uh, with the bobcat. Just like I said, we're just working our way out to the end of it.
Well, at this point, we're starting to dig down to... <laughs> this thing's got to be eight feet deep right in the middle of it. So I mean, there's a good bit of dirt to come out of this hole. So we had to just regroup, start on dirt, and just take the dirt down to a different place. It's pouring down rain on the outside. So we had some issues to get rid of this dirt. We couldn't just take it out in the field somewhere where we wanted to. Uh, we had to jump it on blacktop so we can get hold of it later on. But that being said, it's just what you have to do. We were able at least to work because we were on the inside. So, but anyway, I'm just digging, the, trying to get down to subgrade ones, just taking the stuff out there because we don't have a lot of room. We've got to, we've got to take it out as we go. Here you can see we've we've got it, getting it down there. <laughs> uh, we, this is the edge, the depth where the uh, ramps had to be, and then we come in after we, we had to stop the, their depth right here, so we get the bobcat in here and, and uh, put the gravel. We start to put the gravel on the ramp once we get this end, we couldn't come in from this end because uh, it's closed on this end of the building and so we had to dig it like we've got it dug now so we could get across there with the bobcat, get our gravel in once we get our gravel in to the end of this ramp then we come back and dig another 18 inches down for the treadmill right in the very center of this thing so that's when it's starting to get get pretty deep Right here, we uh, kind of starting to s get to the end of that the lead out ramp uh, for the horse, and this is we're shooting the, just so we can get our center depth. We know we we got this depth here, and then we've got to go down. I think it was 17, 18 inches. We have to go down for the for the actual treadmill right in the center, and it's it's just square down in the bottom of it so it's uh, we're going to get one back backed in here and take the center of it down just a little bit more on the edges uh, and then just start working it out from there
here's the here's the entrance slope already dug and graveled. There's the pit for the treadmill. Going in here for the horse aquasizer. And we gotta gotta finish digging our way out of that hole. A lot of work to do yet. We're make we're getting there. We're lucky. We hit right there. We hit a rock ledge there and there. But I think we can get them out with a little small electric jackhammer. There's one rock right over there. But pipes are going to go out, go under that three foot wall, and over to the next door. Well, as you can see here, we've got our ramp dug out on the other end. We've got it graveled. Uh, they've got it semi-formed uh, for the bottom. And now you can start to see what we're doing. Uh, this all got to be concrete. They're going to do a concrete pad on the bottom first, and then they'll come back and pull the walls. Uh, quite the ordeal. Well, here it is. Uh, we had to do our underground, some underground piping that'll be under the concrete. And then after that, they did their forming and now they've got their steel laid in, getting ready to get this thing poured up. Uh, like I said, these concrete guys are amazing. They just do ex excellent work. But all right, next day, where well, they got their pad poured and those slopes are not easy to pour that in concrete <laughs> on a slope like that but they know what they're doing they didn't have a bit of trouble with it here's a couple of days later they came back in and and started forming this thing up on the walls uh like i said these the concrete people they just you know they know what they're doing I've been around to quite a few concrete people in the past, but these are the best ones I've seen. Uh, right there, they have to build a little uh, catch basin, more, more or less a little subwall for the hydraulic motor on this uh, treadmill. It's what drives it all, so it has to stick out on the side, and all that's underwater. So this one on the left-hand side, as we're looking at it, is straight. It's not too bad, which is the right side now. I'm on the other end. But that, that side right there with all that mess, that little box that has to be put in it, that's quite the, quite the ordeal. And then he has to put in, he has to put in uh, piping uh, through that goes through the concrete. And all that has to be put in beforehand. And it's got to be put in in the right place, of course. So, anyway, quite a bit of doing right here, but they got it done, and we're just about ready to, a few more things to go on in, but they're about ready to get these walls poured. Here's a few more sleeves that they have to put in for the, the hydraulic lines uh, for this thing. But this is just some pictures of it after it's formed up, ready to pour. Uh, and I'm going to leave some links uh down in description of this thing for the Hydra Horse Bunch, their uh, horse treadmills dot com, and that type of thing. But we're gonna kind of do this thing and progress as we go.